Sweater. Yes. Bring a classic game into the digital age with new Pictionary Air. Hi, I'm Laurie from TTPM, playing this cool new game in this sponsored video from Mattel. If you've ever played Pictionary before, the game of drawing and guessing, then you'll know how to play Pictionary Air. But instead of drawing on paper, you're drawing in the air. That's right. This uses a special light pen that transfers what you're drawing in the air onto the screen of a mobile device through the free Pictionary Air app. Paw pad, uh huh? That means that even though you can't see what you're drawing, your teammates can. And they'll be trying to guess what it is before time runs out. Wrinkled! The game is played in rounds, and you have the ability to adjust the number of rounds and the timer before you start playing. When it's your team's turn, choose one player to be the picturist. The picturist draws a clue card, stands in front of the mobile device, and uses the pen to draw the clues in the air. A stomach. Yeah! <laughs> Make sure you're pressing down on the pen's button so that the light-up tip is green. Otherwise, your drawing won't register. The goal is to draw all five clues on the card and get your team to correctly guess them all. You draw the clues one at a time, and you can start with the ones you think will be easiest. A shield. Sword and shield? It's a shield. Shield. <laughs> You're even allowed to interact with the drawings, adding a bit of charades to the gameplay. A puppet. <laughs> a glove. When your team gets one right, the teammate holding the device scores it in the app. Each correct guess is worth one point. If your team seems stuck on a clue, the picturist can say clear, and the device holder presses the eraser to clear the screen so you can move on. Canada, Texas? <laughs> no, clear. When time is up or all five clues have been guessed, give the pen and device to the next team. Time's up. After the final round of play, the team with the most points wins. But don't think that the fun stops once the game is over. You can record and share drawing performances using the app to relive funny moments from your game night or use selfie mode to doodle on your face or draw without time limits and rounds. When you're ready to play again, you might want to try casting the gameplay to a TV using a compatible streaming device. That way you can see the drawings on a bigger screen. But no matter which way you choose to play, the new Pictionary Air will definitely offer up a silly, challenging, and updated way to play the classic game. Dump truck. Dump uh -huh. truck. Uh -huh. You don't have to be a fantastic artist because, hey, you can't even see what you're drawing. And that level of crazy artistry is really what's so fun about the game. This game, which is for two teams of players ages eight and up, will be so fun to play at your next game night. Get your family, get your friends, and get drawing.